Welcome to Hello Monday, where Rachel talks all things ballet and fitness, sharing strategies and techniques to help you start, grow, and create a thriving business using your passion for ballet and fitness. And here's your host, Rachel Withers. Hi there and welcome to another Hello Monday and welcome to the Ballet Fitness Room and really I hope you're all having or have had a great weekend and have had a great Monday so far uh, and just as always please say hello in the comments box, love to hear who I'm chatting with tonight um, and tonight we're going to be really talking about dancing yourself to wealth and really what it is to become a ballet fitness instructor and really the different methods that you can that you can do as a ex dancer a teacher or someone who's wanting to get into the fitness industry the dance industry really what you can do to earn money doing something that you love something that you enjoy so tonight is all about dancing yourself too well so hello hi sarah great to have you here hello everybody great to have you on hello monday so as you all know there are many different methods and routes to really making money and some dancers and we're going to really be talking about dancers hi alison great to have you here and some dancers and teachers they and, and it's really dancers they make their money uh, entirely from dancing but most use their professional skills and experience to supplement income uh, from another job. And so we're really going to be looking uh, about that and we're going to be talking about that. And we're going to be talking about the opportunities that you can have as a dancer, as a teacher or somebody that used to dance that's thinking about getting back into it or whether you're a Pilates instructor, whether um, you do yoga. Um, what, uh, PT, really how you can use dancing and really use that as uh, a way to have, get some wealth really, to make some money. And I think dancing is, it can be often looked upon as a frivolous endeavour really, but many dance dancers out there have made their art into a true business from teaching, choreography, to actually photography and stage performances, writing books or articles. But did you know that becoming a ballet fitness instructor is one of the best ways to dance yourself to wealth? And here are some of the reasons why you can really, you should get started and, and how you can get started. And I'm just gonna have a look at here. So uh, we're all, you know, great to have you here. Great to have you, Sarah. Great to have you, Alison. Great to have everybody. Keep putting your comments in tonight. So becoming a fitness instructor, you can make money from it. And becoming a dance fitness instructor, you can make money from that. And the truth is, not it here, that dancers are often very flexible and they're very physically fit. And therefore, taking a dance fitness class can be a great way to make extra money as a dancer and dance instructors they often work at studios or gyms and they're teaching anything from from zumba uh, to yoga and i know hi rosa great to have you here and alison it'd be great if you could put some kind of comments in because i know that you you've actually made um what you do uh, a full-time career now so it'd be great for everybody to sort of sit, tell everybody kind of how many clients now you're how many classes you're teaching teaching a week and great to have you here rebecca uh, as well and it really is um becoming a dance fitness instructor is a great way to either make extra money if you're still dancing or it's a great way to make money uh, and um you can either have it as a full-time or a part-time income and many gyms leisure centers and schools offer they they offer fitness courses for adults and kids and in addition you can provide training in well aerobic dancing the yoga or even aerobics for children so there's so many opportunities if you've got that dance experience that you can use it and i'm going to talk, be talking about ballet be fit a little bit later on but i just want you guys to really understand that 
if you've got dance experience or fitness experience, you can combine that to really have a dance fitness class that is going to really make you some money. And it is proving so, so popular, our dance fitness classes um, for all age ranges. And not only can you do them in a form of a group exercise class, you can also teach private lessons. And another great advantage, and I'm saying that you can do it as a full-time or a part-time, is that it enables you to fit it around your other commitments. And as a dance fitness instructor, it also enables you to keep fit yourself. And having that kind of if you get a structure having a good routine for you and your business it it's going to really make you make you successful and you're going to have that client uh, that client uh retention because if you make a routine with it and if you really make uh say you do three classes a week and you keep those classes to a regular timetable and you have that commitment you're really going to make some really good money and I also think when you're starting to do dance and actually do dance fitness classes, it's also going to help your own fitness levels. You're going to really be thinking about your own exercise routines and it's going to drive you yourself to exercise better and harder. And you'll exercise satisfactorily harder because other people are also, they're also watching, watching you. So it's really about... Um, really about thinking about what you can do using something you love having that passion for something like dance um it really is about that and as i say it drives you to exercise better and harder and that's because you've got that account you know you've got that you, you you're being somebody you're up there you're being an instructor you're really demonstrating and it's going to keep you in great shape. And Alison say, I've made dance and fitness my career uh, uh, two and a half years ago. I currently teach 12 classes a week. Five of these are ballet fit. I also teach other dance fitness and aerobic classes and chair exercise. I also take clients referred via the GP. So Alison's made a fantastic career. Um, and I think she once told, I think she told me um, a few months ago, I think she's got about 80 clients a week and if you're teaching 12 classes a week that's that's absolutely super and she's doing five classes of the ballet be fit but she's also combining with aerobic classes and chair classes and then gp referrals as well and yeah sarah it's truly amazing isn't it in that short space of time so i'm just going to put up alison's comment there and you you'll get paid you've got to think about it as well if you if you're doing a dance fitness and dance and fitness is something that you love you're going to get paid doing something that you enjoy and also rather than you going out and going oh i've got to get you know i want to stay in shape i want to do a dance fitness class you're also instead of you paying to take a class you're going to get paid to teach a class with you know really with the exercises and the movements that you know are going to truly be beneficial for you your body and your clients and you'll be able to really make a difference to other people's lives while looking after your own your own health your own, own fitness which is beneficial to your family and to your lifestyle too and this is also going to mean that you're going to save funds on on your fitness and you'll can quite often you get complimentary memberships to gyms and studios where you teach and as a profess as a professional fitness instructor you'll be you know you're usually uh, eligible for discounts and uh, also on uh, brands on clothing so there's so many benefits it's not only just about dancing yourself to wealth in terms of the fact that you're going to get paid that um that you're going to get paid for taking classes you're also going to get you know this this yeah there's uh, discounts on gym memberships discounts on branding or uh, on clothing all sorts of things so it's really it, there's really numerous ways that you can make money and really dance yourself uh to to wealth so i'm going to sort of talk to you about really how you can do that how you can actually dance yourself to wealth and i'm just going to say another benefit is that the hours can be good you most people that take the 
exercise classes before in the morning or after work so you really can be your own boss you can work out when you want to take when you want to take the classes and you can really fit it around your own lifestyle and your own family but I have to say this ambition is the path to success and what you have to do is you have to really make sure that you're going to be persistent in what you do if it's really what you want to do because it's true in business and and in dancing because dancers if you're going to do this they are business owners and your path to success really is through being persistent and really having that tenacity and that patience and that integrity and the good manners and the ability to really build trust with friends and also new clients and really this is going to make you into an incredible uh, instructor and it is really going to help you dance yourself to well so what do you actually need to start teaching dance well, well i think the first thing to do is that you need to find a good mentor you need to find people that are going to support you and because when you do that you're going to get somewhere a lot lot faster than if you're going it alone and also think about the type of dance classes that you want to teach we have our ballet be fit classes you might want to do ballroom classes you might want to do tap classes think about disco there's so much that you can do so think about um the different types of dance classes that you want to do and also within ballet be fit you can think about teaching different styles of dance classes with within the ballet be fit method so a style could be uh, very much and i have one teacher who is very much into contemporary so the ballet be fit has uh, a contemporary twist uh, to it using our method i have another teacher that's very lyrical and it's all a more lyrical movement and then i have other teachers we're thinking about then the different age ranges from the younger children teaching them really movement and confidence through through create creative movement and fitness right through to um older adults where you can do the chair work you can do the seated work but also still using the ballet be fit method so with the dancing and becoming a dance fitness instructor not only have you got the different genres of uh, dance classes that you can teach there's also the different age ranges and then there's a different um the different styles within that you that you can do and you can also then think about it might be you're focusing on one at one class is meditation and um working on really calm beautiful peaceful music where you're working on meditation and flexibility through ballet be fit so there's so many different th ways that you can do and by doing that it means that you can have a variety of classes which will mean you will attract different different clients but you can also think and it's important to niche into clients as well that you want to attract if you want to do the old raggles but thinking or younger but you can have that variety but really think really think about what makes you different what is your unique selling point and another thing you need to think about is when you're trying to really pursue that career that you love you do need to network and you do need to seek out mentors as i say that are really going to help you in the in the process and somebody else is saying hi sorry i can't see you now and you should look for people you should really look for people that are actually doing what you want to do and join a community of like-minded individuals that are actually um doing what you want to do because that means you're going to learn so so much more because you are going to you're going to gain their knowledge and most most people are ever so supportive so it enables you to be able to ask questions ask for help so join communities where you are mixing with like-minded people that are really going to um support you and also you can attend you know events and and really listen to speakers that have been there that are doing it so because once you do that you're really going to learn how generous people are in terms of giving their time giving their support and they're really going to guide you as to 
how they got to where they are today, which is going to give you the stepping stones to really help you think about your goals, your um, your objectives, and it's going to help you break it down into really how you want to get to where you want to get get to when it comes to dancing yourself to wealth and really having a successful dance ballet inspired fitness business holding classes and another thing I think that you really do need to think about is I think you need to really think about focusing on yourself because we don't do that um we're, we're always thinking about everybody else but do we actually really think about ourselves and focus on ourselves and really think about what is it that I really want because when you attempt to follow your biggest career aspirations there are going to be detractors who really kind of can belittle your goals and they you know they can voice their doubts but to be successful you need to block out all that negative noise and really focus on your personal journey and it's important to do that it's important to really focus on your personal journey you really need to think about where you want to go and i i believe in really writing goals down i believe in writing your long-term goal out your big goal out your and then taking smaller goals, really thinking about it as a stepping stone to where you want to to where you want to be. So focus on yourself. I'm just going to read another comment here. Um, let me share that. Uh, hang on a second. I'll just pull it up here. Um, so I'm I'm going to be teaching a dance class in February for the community. Workshop classes will teach for the first time. 15 minutes of ballet befit, ballet befit bar, warm up and Latin modern dance mix with Zumba. Very good. That's lovely. That's a, that's going to be really good combining that bar warm up, moving into that Latin modern dance with a mix of Zumba. That'll be really, really nice. It'll be lovely. Yes, I am. Uh, we are in a group uh, of uh, com community with other teachers as workshop classes. We also perform for the community oh thank you for sharing that rosa that's that's lovely and I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to you showing me some video and sending me some photos in of, of of your classes i can't wait to see that and dominic hi great to have you here dominic great to have you here tonight as well so as i was saying it's really important to make sure that you think about where you want to go and be focused on that and another thing I think that's really important is don't wait around you don't want to be going oh I'm thinking about doing this and then a year later you're still thinking about it if it's something that you want to do I truly believe you need to take action and get on with it right away because if you don't you're never going to you're never going to and you're never going to dance yourself to well so really think about taking action if it's something that you really want to do if dance and fitness is something truly that you love and that you really want to um make money because tonight's about talking about making money make money doing something that you really know that you enjoy and that you love and that you have a passion but also at the same time keep you fit, keep you healthy, and also make a contribution to other people's lives and really make a difference, then it's really important not to be thinking about it. It's really important to be taking action and not waiting around. And somebody else is just here, I don't have a name, is just is um, looking to start a six-week online challenge or course for Bally Befit Bartone with modifications for pregnancy and postnatal. That's that's fantastic. And again, I'd love you to share, kind of share some photos, some videos of that, and tell me how it's all going. Sorry, I don't have your name. Um, sorry, I can't see your name, but I'm looking forward to hearing about how how that goes with you. Oh, hi Adele. <laughs> hi. So that's lovely. That's lovely to hear as well so looking forward to that and as always guys you can always post in the Bali fitness room um when you start in your classes so that we can make sure that we build and support you um so make sure that you do and also share in the Bali be fit instructor hub if you're a Bali be fit instructor so i really think it's important to make sure if it's something that you really want to do it's something that 
you have been thinking about is to focus on yourself, find somebody that is going to support you, join a like-minded community, make sure you don't wait around and really you should act quickly because if you want to open that that those classes that, and have the business that you're dreaming of, as you as you get older, sometimes you tend to not take take you know take the risks or step out of your comfort zone in quite the same way. Now I do know that I have a lot of incredible ladies um, that have done at uh, at an older age, um, and that's something at Ballaby Fit that we are very very passionate about is that starting a, a business you can do it at any age and it's going to keep you young it's going to motivate you and you're also demonstrating that by doing something for yourself at an older age so can other older adults and i think that that has, is such uh, an inspiring um example so if you really want to enjoy dance, enjoy dance fitness and dance yourself to wealth, then make sure that you do focus on yourself. Make sure that you do take action. Make sure that you plan. Make sure that you goal set. and Make sure that you don't keep sitting on that fence thinking about it. Get on and do it. And another thing that you can do is you can always start slow. You don't have to kind of have five classes straight away. Um, but you can start on a couple of classes. And I know a lot of uh, the Ballet Be Fit instructors, they start with one class and then they'll do another class and slowly they build it up. But you can start slow just so that you get your feet wet and you start really working on building your skills and then you can scale up. So that's something that you can do and you can find out, really work out then that that balance with your, with your family life, with your home life, with... Um, other commitments, whatever they may be. And just really start, you can start small with a couple of classes and you can build build up. And what I think you really need to do is you need to think about creating your vision. And this is a really great technique to really help you achieve your goals and help you pursue your passion. And it's a technique that uh, athletes have, have been using for really dec decades to improve performance. So what I'd like you to do, what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you to really think about creating that vision board. And we're still early in the new, we're still early into the new year here. So I think it'd be a perfect time to create a vis vision board for this year, for this year for the following year get that vision board of where you want to be at certain times and have that long term that long term goal and really use it as a tool um to visualize exactly where you want to be and what you do is you put a collage of words and pictures that really represent what you want out of life what are your goals and what are your dreams and really put together pictures and quotes that actually motivate you as well to achieve what you want to and look at it every day first thing in the morning before you start your day because this is going to help you align your tasks with your goals so it really is inspirational and it will serve as your image of the future it's a tangible example and of an idea a represent representation of where you are going so i'd like you all to create a vision board and and really put motivational quotes on it um to really align you with your tasks the photos and really so it truly represents your goals and your dreams and Sarah's saying that uh, she loves loves the idea of a vision board. Thank you, thank you, Sarah. It's great, and it's a really it does really motivate you. Um, if you look at it first thing in the morning when you when you get up, if you look at that look at that board, and by adding visualization practice to your daily routine, you're going to just you will naturally become more motivated to reach your goals. You'll start to notice you are unexpectedly doing things that just move you, move you closer to that 
to your ideal life. So I would like you to really think about that. And those things are all going to help you really get focused and follow your passion, follow your dream, which is really having your own ballet, dance inspired fitness classes, having your own fitness business. So make sure that you focus on you, make sure that you take action, make sure that you create that vision board and so that you are really, um, so you are focused and that you really align your tasks and your goals to your vision and break down uh, your goal into smaller, into smaller depths. So you map at steps. So you map out uh, a journey. So you're taking little steps to get to that long term goal. And what I want to talk to you a bit more about is for those that haven't known Ballet Befit uh, for as long as some listening today, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about um, how Ballet Befit started and what you can do and how we can support you at Ballet Befit to have your own dance and fitness inspired business. And um, Dominique's just before I do, Dominique's uh, just saying that I can um, tick Bally Be Fit off my vision board now. Oh, thank you. So, and we're going to help you with the next steps for, uh, for Bally Be Fit with you. And then Rosa is saying that um, I like the uh, visual board dance photos. I love to watch the videos of dancing on, in you, on YouTube. Yeah, you can get so much from, uh, from that. Thank you. So I'm just going to talk to a little bit about Bally Be Fit. At Bally Be Fit, it really is our passion to help you pursue yours. And we have training courses that are, and qualifications that are CPD rec uh, recognized, continued professional development. And also if you're registered with SimSpa, you can get SimSpa points as well. And we really help you to discover your true potential as a dance and fitness instructor and it really is our mission to help ladies and gentlemen to turn the passion for ballet and fitness and dance into a prof profitable business and really we want and I know we have we have a incredible community we call it our ballet be fit family and it is a community, it is a family that truly wants to add value to people's lives and really make a difference and really make a contribution. And I'm sure I can see, put big fat yeses in there if you're enjoying the community, if you're loving the journey with us and you just love that you are making a difference. You're making a difference to um, other people's lives. And I'm a former dancer and a dance teacher and... I left the dance world, I think it was, gosh, uh, about 1998, and it was to start a, start a family, and it was, yeah, I, I left the dance world. And it then, it was around, I think, 2007 that I realised I'd got out of shape, I was lethargic, and I just wasn't caring for myself myself at all. And I'd really ignored all those aspects of self-care and self-love, and I was I was running on empty and I really did not value my purpose. And I felt like I was doing everything for everybody else. And I really felt that I needed to be, I don't know, more effective as, as a human being. And I, I wanted my children to see really to see the importance as well of looking after yourself. And I didn't want them to sort of see me as, overweight and an unfit mom and actually it was when my daughter she made a run for it at um sort of at the kind of the school gates I really realized it was how unfit I was that that was like a pivotal moment that made me really think to myself I have got to do something about this I've got to make some changes and thank you Rebecca yes 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 great family here it is and I'm so pleased that you're that you're part of that family. And so what I did was I, I joined a gym and I got myself back into shape and I achieved my kind of my desired fitness, 
but the gym owner, knowing my background, asked if I'd ta uh, consider taking a fitness class based on the ballet, ballet technique. And it, that was really the beginning of Ballet Be Fit. And I haven't looked back. And I can't, I can't believe from taking, I started with one, one class there, and then it grew to two classes, then it grew to three classes. Um, and I, can't, I was nervous, even though I'd been a dancer, even though I'd done uh, teaching. I can't say I wasn't nervous when I started. It was like, got i felt was i going to be good enough at it was it going to be popular but as i started to develop my classes i started developing my lesson plans started developing my choreography and that's where the technique really came in i started i really really studied uh, and i talked to physiotherapists and um professionals and really uh honed in on on the ballet and the fitness the fitness level and that's really how the ballet be fit method came about and as i ran the classes yeah they were really really popular um i started doing uh, more classes in more venues and then it, i think it was sort of a few years later i think it was about towards um yeah uh, probably t uh, about 2000 and 10 maybe 11 that i started helping other ladies really start up their own ballet based fitness classes and really build their own um, businesses up i hadn't really thought about doing that i'd been very much supporting um ladies with their fitness levels and i, I created my own dvd which you can still you can still um see um a bit cheesy with the 80s the 80s leggings on there i don't know why i wanted 18 uh, 80s leg uh, not leggings leg warmers on um then but uh, even though we were in you know 2000 and i think it must have been 2009 then but anyway hey i did um but it was around 2011 that i started helping some of the friends that i'd met in the dance world build their own business up and, and other ladies and then it was really about in 2016 when i started to truly believe that ballet be fit was born and it now it's been over the uh, we went online because uh i needed to scale to support more and more ladies with their businesses and i truly can't believe where i am today doing something that i completely love uh and have a passion for uh which is dance and fitness and especially ballet that from taking two three classes in a local gym that i now have uh instructors from lots of places you know around the world um and uh, i am supporting them and we are one amazing amazing family and we are making difference a difference to other people's lives you can have that dream um and if you believe in yourself and if you have the focus you can do anything and that's something that i really do want you to all realize that if i can do it and i was nervous i'd not done it for so long if i can do it then so can then so can you and that's what i want you to really um uh, really sort of think think about there and that i've actually truly danced myself to wealth by doing what I'm doing. And at Ballet Be Fit, what we do is we really support you in running your classes. We really support you in um, client accountability. We really support you in delivery in the technique. Yes, we do all of that. We're with you, you have a mentor, but what we also do is we teach you marketing. We really teach you how to do social media. It is a complete business like to call it a business in the box and that's what we do for you at ballet be fit and i know that i i can't think of one lady that has come on the ballet be fit journey has become an instructor has not said that they get incredible incredible support from us and i would love to i'd love to see to, to see that so i really want um want you to understand that if you want to have uh a few classes a week or if you want 
a complete a complete business, then we can support you at Ballybefit and you can pursue your passion and you can follow your dreams. And somebody's saying, good timing on this. I have my first class Saturday morning, very nervous. Yes, um, I've had great support. Sorry, I can't see can't see your name. Sorry from Dominic, Dominique. Well, we're going to support you all the way, Dominique. And I want to see photos and um, we will, you know, give us feedback how it went. And Sarah, I know, supported you on your journey. So um, we're always, always here, as you know, and that's what we are at Valley Be Fit. And I'm just going to share with you tonight as well, because I just, I want, I really do want to stress here that if you want a business that is around what you love, and it is dance and fitness that you love, that we can really support you on that. And as I said earlier on in, in, in the show tonight, it's about taking action. And I think now it's the perfect time. You can do, um, it is the perfect time to do it. It's the beginning, it's the beginning of the year. Really start the year as you mean to go on and get that vision board and really start the year as you mean to go on. And I'm just going to share with you a beautiful, beautiful, and I'm, I'm so incredibly grateful this, uh, a wonder, um, uh, a lady called Trudy Ashplant um, messaged me today just to just to just to say first of all I did a big thank you. Uh, she wanted to give me a big thank you for I mentioned it on a Facebook post on fitness for aging adults because Trudy actually started uh, teaching ballet be fit when she was she did her our training course when she was six I think it was sixty sixty one um, and um, I was I was it was all about older adults and it was all about that if you if it's something that you want to do you're never too old so Trudy would just me, just message me to say a thank you and she put I adore teaching ballet be fit your program has given me the opportunity to feel truly alive and totally blessed a new lease of life in my 60s yay the 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 look on my ladies' faces in class when they get something is the best medicine out. What an absolute joy. Their balance, posture, deportment, coordination all improved. She also says, I watch little TV now. I much prefer doing choreography and putting myself through the moves so I'm fully prepared for class. Doing your instructor tra training was a game changer, a pivotal moment in my life. And she says, I can quote her on that if you wish. So clearly I did. And, and she said also, which is so kind, I admire and respect all you do, Rachel. And thank you once again for creating the Bally Be Fit programme with love and appreciation, Trudy. And um, true, I'll just share that with you there. Trudy is an incredible instructor. She is teaching, um, I, think, uh, I think she's got three classes a week now um and she's teaching three classes and trudy is 64 and she is really focused on um uh, on older adults so i just wanted to share that with you and um i truly just want to i really do want to say that at ballet be fit you can really experience earning money pursuing your passion and really doing something that really doing something that you love and as I say you truly can dance yourself too well doing dance and fitness classes so thank you for joining me tonight at um, Bally Fit Hello Monday the Bally Fitness Room um, I hope to see you next week for another uh, another topic which is all about ballet and fitness um, and if you are wanting to know more about what we do at Ballet Be Fit, just messages, um, uh, message here, um, just directly message uh, me, um, and we will make sure that we really do support you. Check out our YouTube channel as well, Ballet Be Fit, and um, I look forward to seeing you next week for more ballet and fitness. So take care, everybody. Look after yourselves, and um, I will see you see you real soon. I will see you next week for another Hello Monday. Take care. Bye bye, everybody. Thanks for tuning in to Hello Monday. 
be sure to visit the Ballet Fitness Room to join the conversation, access the show notes, and discover our fantastic bonus content. Join us next time for more tips and techniques. Bye for now.